Da, da. Da, da. So you've got this pronunciation thing off pat now, haven't you? Pat wants it back. Uh, you, you know how to pronounce the names of various foreign politicians. You know how to pronounce names of new celebrities which have just come into the public consciousness and into news bulletins. Okay, you, 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 you've got this down to a fine art now. You know how to pronounce various places around the world. Of course you do. Hmm. And then you move. And then things get a little bit more difficult because, of course, there are local and regional pronunciations which don't follow the usual rules. Now, as far as local pronunciations go, any regional TV or radio station should have a written guide, perhaps a, an audio guide as well. So you'll be able to listen to how a word, a local place or a local politician, that how they pronounce their name rather than just kind of guessing or seeing it written down and misunderstanding the written down pronunciation. So we're talking about, you know, unusual names and places in their area and so on. And all of that will reduce the possibility of newbies falling headlong into a pronunciation bear trap and taking the station's credibility with them. Listeners may not know or, or care if you mispronounce the name of a city somewhere else incorrectly, but they will know and care if you pronounce their name or town incorrectly. Let me give you an example. How do you pronounce this city? V-I-E-N-N-A. V-I-E-N-N-A. Yes, Vienna, isn't it? Of course it is. And, or is it? Mm. In Georgia, USA, it's actually pronounced Vienna. Hmm. So, they may not know or care if you pronounce somewhere else incorrectly, if it's not in their neighbourhood, but they will if you call your local town incorrectly. Let me give you another example. L-E-I-G-H. L E I. G H. Now, I have worked at two radio stations that's had a town named L-E-I-G-H in their broadcasting area. And in one area, you pronounced it, and I'm still having to think about which way round this was, Lee, yeah? And in the next broadcasting area I went to, and another station I worked at, you pronounced that exact same place, no, sorry, the exact same uh, name, but a different place, which was in their area, as Lie. L-E-I-G-H. Could be Lie, could be Lee. Now, getting the name of a place wrong, especially one in your own area or your own county, insults your listeners, as well as, of course, damages your credibility and your station's credibility as well. Got another couple for you as well. How would you pronounce... And um, the, 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 these, are, these are great. We had Arkansas yesterday for the Americans, um, where, where, which the Brits sometimes get wrong. Let's, let's turn the tables. Americans... How are you going to pronounce this British place? I've got a couple for you. B-I-C-E-S-T-E-R. B-I-C-E-S-T-E-R. That's number one for you. And also, I've got this one for you as well. T-O-W-C-E-S-T-E-R. T-O-W-C-E-S-T-E-R. Answers at the end of the show. So never assume that you know how something is said. Check it out and get it right. It's much less embarrassing to be wrong in front of a couple of three colleagues in the newsroom or outside in the production area if you're in the studio doing a voiceover recording when you ask for advice from them than in front of several thousand listeners on air or indeed if you're called back because you've got to pronounce something in a slightly different way. But always remember... Who's to say that your colleagues are correct with their advice on pronunciation? Mm, check it out from a trusted source. And of course, once you've found out how to say a word, say it several times to give your eye, brain, articulators an opportunity to work out the workflow. Just before we finish today, those two places, B-I-C-E-S-T-E-R is not Bicester, it's Bicester. 
and T-O-W-C-E-S-T-E-R is not Toaster, it's Toaster. Like you have in the kitchen for your bread in the morning. From London, I'm Peter Stewart. <laughs>